Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again today. I'm Lee from thecraftyspark.co.uk and today I have another super simple speedy card video for you. Now, today I thought we'd do some congratulations cards. All right, I've got one for the girls, one for the boys. So hopefully you will like them. Now, to begin with, um, I will hit the tripod with my stamp. <laughs> that was a good start, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Right, I'm using this set here. Bravo. This is the one we're going for today. Um, I've already mounted up the big congratulations stamp. I have got my stamping mat because I'm using photopolymer. Now, I've cut a card base of six by four I have a strip of two inch card that measures six inches duh, by two inches that is a bit that came off the end of that because I don't like wasting cards and obviously if you're doing six by four card and you haven't got 12 by 12 card stock you do end up with bits left over hence I try and keep them all right so this is a bit that was left over I've got a piece of what size is this um three and three quarters by five and three quarters now this is designer series paper from the it's my party paper stack because that's the paper that i'm using today but this particular one it's just got this sort of cross cross hatch kind of pattern on it so this is the one i'm using now and what else was i going to use oh i know Calypso Coral. I thought I'd go with that one because I haven't used that one for a little while. And I do like that colour. And I've also got some Calypso Coral Baker's Twine as well to match. Now then, what I'm going to do with this one, first of all, I'm going to stamp congratulations. Now, I don't usually do it this way around. I usually sort of build the card first. But I need to stamp it because this is actually going to form the main part of the card and I need to make sure that I've got it stamped up before I actually make the card so just ink that up now on my two inch piece of card I'm going to centre it with ways but I want it kind of near the top so about that there I think Now, this is the good thing with photopolymer and using a mat because you can see through the photopolymer to see where your ink has gone and make sure that all your ink is on there properly and on your thumb as well. <laughs> ah, the joys, the joys. Right, let's get rid of that before I stick my other hand in it. Now then... The next thing I want to do with this, I'll just move that out of the way, is bring in my card base that I'm using. This is the thick whisper white that I'm using for the card base. Now this is why I wanted to do it this way round, because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put that at an angle. But that, make sure you can see it in the, in the, in the mirror. I always call it a mirror, it's a camera. <laughs> it's nothing like a mirror. Oh, right, what I'm trying to do <laughs> is, oh uh, dear, there we go, that's what I was trying to do. I'm trying to get it so that, that it, it's, put my teeth back in. I'm going to use my grid paper actually to make sure I'm straight, which I am not. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it so that I've got, oh, that's a bit too low, isn't it? Move it up a bit. The congrats going across the middle. Ish. Kind of like that. Yeah. Right there. that do. So I want my congrats going across the middle. And then I want, but at the same time, I want to make sure that 
but I haven't got any hanging out on these two ends here you see so now I can see where it's actually going to go if I hold it still just put a line of snail in the middle there and then I can put that back on top Ooh, trying not to wiggle it around too much it's about there wasn't it I think like that okay so that has now covered either end all right so the next thing I want to do if I just turn over I just want to snip off oh that was the card wasn't it god I nearly cut the actual card <laughs> I'm gonna cut the paper I don't want to turn over at all because I want to cut the paper jeez almost got it wrong I'm just gonna cut the paper <laughs> that's hanging out on those two sides there <laughs> like that that's what I was aiming for because now that's better look I knew there was a reason behind it it fits see so it's some baker's twine now I'm going to actually that's way too much isn't it don't really need that much at all I only want a tired bow in it all right snip that off I'm going to glue dots glue dots where are you they are buried somewhere in the mess on my desk oh flipping egg why do I always make so much mess when I'm crafting goodness me tell you what put some out there instead rather a lot of that on there I know but hey I want to make sure my um, my baker's twine doesn't move while I'm trying to tie a bow on it. So I'm going to line it back up again. It's quite tricky actually because you've got these funny angles on it. When you get when you first start trying to see what I mean, trying to put, <laughs> no, move. trying to put it together, you 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 have to sort of really concentrate your eyes, otherwise you end up looking at the wrong thing. Right about there. See now, if I push that down, that's now stuck in the right place. Which is what I wanted to do. And now I can flip it back over again. Type of. Now I did say in one of my recent videos, I'm not going to tie bows on my videos anymore. I was having a bad day and I threw my toys out my pram because I couldn't get the bow right on the video. It was starting to annoy me. But here I am again. <laughs> we just can't help ourselves, can we? We just have to tie our bows. I know you're all sitting there nodding your head at me, saying, yeah, <laughs> we sure do. Oh, dear. Do you know what? There are so many videos on how to tie easy bows. Do you think I've watched any? No, of course I haven't watched any. Why would I want to do something as simple as that? Now, as you can see, my bow is a bit too far that way. But that's fine because I've done quite a big spread of snail on the back. So I can just pull it off. Now I've actually tied the bow. Whoops. And move it to the centre or the side you can stay on the side if you wanted to I suppose and I could also move it up a little bit as well because I want it a little bit higher and then I can stick it back down again see easy peasy damn and squeezy right let's just snip those long bits off before I end up sticking them to something they shouldn't be stuck to and now because I've been fiddling about with the back of that that's lost quite a lot of its tackiness so I can put that back on there like that you see I don't want to stick it yet and that's why I'm being a bit gentle with it I can put it back on there just hold it down because now I want to cut off these end bits that are sticking out Oop, hang on that's going wonky that's it Probably better if you use big scissors rather than your little scissors. 
when you're doing that bit. Never mind, eh? Make sure you're straight. Actually, do you know I'm going to open it up? Just to be sure. Try not to cut your card. Oh, like I just did twice, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now, the reason for doing it like that, if I just gently whoop, give it a twist, it will come off. There we go. Is because I want my dimensionals. Because you all know how much I like putting dimensionals on the backs to make the cards look a bit, a bit more special. So, dimensionals going on. do I need one? Is that it? Um, yeah, that's it, isn't it? That'll do. Couldn't get my brain in gear then. You ever done that? Looked at something and you're sure it's right but it just doesn't look right. That was one of those moments. Right, so now if I put this on here gently should be able to line it up again there we go and just peel off the back I'll show you where my glue dots were I really want one um, I don't know where I've put them do you know what I'm just going to get another packet out I think I need a glue dot. The reason I want a glue dot is because what I want to do is just stick one behind this bow here just to hold it still because you can see it does move about a little bit. So just to keep it in the same spot, put a glue dot behind it and it'll also keep your knot tied as well if you're worried about that oh did I stick that I think I might have stuck yeah I pushed on that a bit too hard and I've stuck it to the um, the card again oh, that's not bad probably. probably should have put a glue dot behind that shouldn't I there we go unstuck unstuck now you could leave it like that or if you wanted to just go a little bit more special what about putting some sequins on because these don't take two minutes either these are very very quick these are just the uh, metallics sequins now if I can find I want one of those for a start find the tip glue and ah, that's what I was looking for a sticky tool because Oh, my bracelet's making a lot of noise today, isn't it? Sorry, everyone. I'm just going to put some white ones on for a change, I think. Quite often when you use, um, what are they called? <laughs> sequins. <laughs> oh, quite often when you use sequins, it's very easy to just whoop they're all stuck together that's where the children have been playing with them it's very easy isn't it to just use um that silver ones and the gold ones and and then you end up left with other ones that you <laughs> you don't actually use so i think i yeah i'll just go with it oopsie daisy i'm trying i don't know how many to put on there what do you reckon? Is that enough? If I just put those ones on? Just gives it a bit more a texture kind of thing, doesn't it? There we go. How about that? Let's put them away again. I could really do with another one of these things as well, because this one isn't actually very good. So, oh dear, hit the tripod again. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, please, please, please tell me because I really, really could do with them. Right. Yeah, that fits on there, actually. I'm not going to use that. 
I'm just going to stick them to the glue dots. We have got some sequins and I'm not entirely sure where they are or what pack they go in. But one of our sequins doesn't fit the glue dot. They're really, really tiny. It might be, it might be one of the um, Project Life ones actually, thinking about it. Uh, I don't know, can't remember. Right, let's put these on then. So there's one, two, three, four. Where did the other one go? It's around here somewhere, wasn't it? Five, that do there. There we go. One card done. Dun, dun, dun. Right, so there's one of them. Now... The other one I was going to do, this is because that's kind of a girly one, isn't it? It's of sort of pastely colours. Now, the other one is the boys' one. Um, where should I put that? I'll put that there. Let's move that out of the way as well because I don't want that now. Um, the other one, oh, I've lost. <laughs> uh, I can't find it. What have I done with it? That's glue. That's not a card. Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, duh. It's all stuck to everything now. Right, that's it. That's what I was going to do. Stick that on there. Now that, which you probably can't see at the moment, is actually this bit here. This congratulations here. So for this card, I have got whoops, um, a design series paper from the It's My Party again. Same size card base. Knight of Navy, this one measures six by four, I think, hang on. Yeah, so we've got six by four, then we've got five and three quarters by four and three quarters, and then we've got four and a half by three and a half. Then I have two inches of Knight of Navy and one and three quarter inches of Whisper White, okay? I'm going to get my, my mat out again. Now, this is the kind of thing, if you have a misty, this is when you would be using it. Now, I do have a misty, but I also appreciate not everybody has a misty. So I'm going to do it this way, just so that you can see you can still do it this way. And what I'm doing, I'm just inking up the stamp with my Knight of Navy. So I've done the other card backwards, so I'll do this one backwards as well. Why not? So, now what I want to do is I want to get that nicely centred in there. Which I think is going to be right there, I hope, because the stamp has now gone down. Make sure you push on it all the way all over, because it's a big stamp. And if you're not using a misty and you've got any gaps, you're in trouble. Get me with the fancy stamp. Right, uh, <laughs> get that out of the way. Now, I want my triple banner punch, which, uh, where's that? I bet that's over the other side of the room still. Yes, it is. Da, 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 da. There it is. Now, the triple banner punch does not have a slot for one and three quarter inches. However, if you poke it in there, turn it over you can line it up on the back and you can get it centered and then punch it out Is that center yeah see just like that so that's that one and then the two inch one obviously does have its slot so if you cut your cardstock to the right width, it fits in there nicely. <laughs> if you cut it smudge too wide like I have, you have to kind of wiggle it a bit. But there you go. It's wiggled and it's in. Super duper. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There they are. Right, let's put some snail on here. Like that. I was going to put some at the bottom there, but I'll end up getting it all over the paper, so I won't. Now I want that on there, 
Can you see how that's given us a really good border? Isn't that good? So that's going on now. I then want, I've got some silver glimmer paper here and I've got the star. This is from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. Itty Bitty Accents Punch Pack. Itty Bitty Accents Punch. Yeah, that's what it's called. So I just want a star, just a little star, and no glue dots. All right, where have they gone now? Oh, come on. Oh, there they are. Oh, hit the tripod again. Oh, damn, we are having fun today, aren't we? I'm actually going to put that over the blue star that's in the middle of that O, just to give it a bit of sparkles. Oh, <laughs> just throw that over there while I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, why not? Dear me. Right, stick this on. <laughs> oh, how funny. And just stick this one on as well. Oh, dear. Let's go have a giggle over there. And that can go on there. There we go, like that. Now, you could if you wanted to you could measure all this out and then cut this bit a bit shorter than that bit so that you've got that border going all the way around however because we've got this navy border at the top that isn't actually necessary because that navy border is going to border this navy border if that made sense quite clever don't you think but what we are going to do is we're just going to trim off the excess at the top of that there we go and this time i'm not going to throw it across the room i nearly threw that across the room instead this time yep that's around the right way so can you see if i put that right there it has its border. Easy peasy. Now I'm not actually going to put dimensionals on this one for a change. <laughs> well, this one is going to sit flat and the reason it's going to sit flat is just so that I can make sure that you can see the border properly at the top. Of course if you wanted to you could like I say cut it shorter and have the border and then you could have it on dimensionals. But just for ease because we're doing it quick I'm just going to do it like that because then I haven't got to measure it. Now, in case you were wondering, which I'm so sure some of you are, how long was that? Because I didn't tell you, did I? You know why I didn't tell you? Because I didn't actually measure it. I just grabbed a bit. Um, hang on. If I put that back together there, how big's that? That is about six and a quarter inches. Yeah, it's about six and a quarter inches. How big was that bit? I think that's probably about that as well, is it? Or was that? Yeah, oh, they're both about six and a quarter inches. That's weird because I've got my that scrap box. I must have come off another card I made another day. That bit, that bit. Who knows? Anyway, there we go. We are done for today with our super simple speedy cards. Your two cards. One for the girls, one for the boys, one for the boys, one for the girls, whichever way around you want to do it. Everything you need, as always, to make these two cards will be listed underneath the video. And I'm also going to start a page on my blog, which has got a full list of all the tutorials that I've done. I don't know how long it's going to take me to put them all together because there's rather a lot of them but that's what I'm aiming for so all the super simple speedy cards will all be in one place on the blog post <laughs> I think that's my plan anyway it may not come to fruition though I will tell you that now but everything that you need to make these cards is all going to be listed as I say underneath the video so you'll be able to find them just click on the links that you can see and it will take you straight through to my shop and then you can just add them straight to your basket, check out, and you're done. Nice and easy. 
don't do difficult it's too hard <laughs> life life's too difficult as it is to worry about difficult things as well so there we go all done hope you enjoyed that everybody and i will see you again very soon with another video take care